Hi guys, I'm Kat. Welcome back to Catadactyl. Today I'm going to be doing my translated TBR for May. So, so before I start this, I would just like to talk about what I have found to be the case with some of the translated works which I have picked up so far. They tend to be very dark. I found it really hard to read just continuously dark matter the whole time. So it made me hit a bit of a slump um, and then I auto bought a uh, young adult book. So this month my TBR is going to have five books for translations and some of them are very dark and then some of them I hope are more um, lighthearted. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So the first one on my list is now the 2015 edition and the name of it is Switch On Imagination and it actually comes in this colored sleeve. Um, and this is a collaborative effort by Japanese artists and designers where they uh, discuss the topics of nuclear arms. So some of the questions that they're trying to answer are um, why do people keep killing each other? Is there a way to stop it? Is a complete ban of nuclear weapons the correct answer? Um, what makes a human a human? And in the book it has artwork by different artists and then it has um, English and Japanese. So this is written in Japanese but it has three different translators. They are Andrew Tanabe, Elizabeth Baldwin, and Tomoko Kakeda. I mean it's just full of art and kind of different media and I really want to give it a go, but this is definitely going to be one of the darker reads for the month, obviously, as it's dealing with uh, nuclear weaponry. But I just think that it's really interesting and I can't wait to read it. Um, it's a format that I haven't read much, so I'm going to actually leave, this is not on Goodreads and it's not sold in stores, it's just sold through Project Now, which is the Artist Collective Against Nuclear Weapons, so I will leave the uh, links for them down below. So next up we have a Spanish writer, Paul Penn, who wrote The Light of the Fireflies, and it's translated from the Spanish by Simon Bruni. And in this one we follow an unnamed boy who lives in the basement of his house with his parents, his grandparents, and his sister. And as time goes on, his sister has a baby and things start to get weird in the basement because no one will talk about who the father of the baby is. And then one day a firefly comes down the stairs and his grandmother is telling him about the outside world and how great fireflies are at producing their own light. And the boy really wants to escape the basement so he can experience the outside world. And I think that this is going to be, again, a very dark novel. And I haven't read a lot of Spanish translations, so I think that this will be really good. And I believe it's my first one from Spain. This was recently free for Kindle. Amazon Crossing was promoting a World Book Day. So if you'd like to check it out, I will leave the link down below. Next up is Ghosts by Cesar Ira, who is known as one of the greatest um, authors to come out of Argentina, and the Spanish is translated by Chris Andrews. And in this one, we follow a group of immigrant workers who are squatting on a construction site, and as time goes on, they start to see ghosts that are sitting on the beams of the construction site, and they don't really mind the ghosts that much, but the teenage daughter has become kind of captivated by them. and. They let her go and talk with the ghosts and spend time with them until suddenly the mother realizes that her daughter might be in mortal danger. I've read really good things about this online and it would be my first also from Argentina, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I believe it's also like a really short novel, so I can sink my teeth into it and just devour it probably all at once. Um, so yeah. Okie dokie. So the next one that we have is a French translation, and it's really quite popular. The Elegance of the Hedgehog by Muriel Barberry, translated from the French by Alison Anderson. So in this one we follow Renée, who is the concierge at an apartment building, and she believes herself to be kind of above the tenants and above everyone else that she comes into contact with. However, she leads a very lonely life, and she lives alone with her cat, and she actually has a great love for culture and art, and she just wants to share it with people, but something is holding her back from that. One of the tenants upstairs is a 12-year-old girl who doesn't want to live the life her parents have planned for her and has decided to commit suicide on her 13th birthday. But their paths combine, and 
I've heard great things about this, that it's really tender and heartfelt. Um, I'm hoping that this will be one of the lighter books for my translated picks. Everyone has recommended it to me whenever I talk about French books. Um, I think when I read Love in Lower Case, when I read The Little Paris Bookshop, people were like, oh, have you read The Elegance of the Hedgehog? Um, so um, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope that I can really understand the main character. Sometimes when main characters are too good for everyone else, I end up kind of just despising them. Um, so I hope that it goes well. Um, if you've read it, let me know. And the last book um, for my translated TBR is The Year of the Hair by Arto Pasilina, <laughs> translated from the Finnish by Herbert Lomas. And this is, of course, a author from Finland. So in this one, we follow a man who is driving down a road in Finland, and he suddenly runs over a hair. And he is devastated, and he jumps out of his car and goes to look for the hair. And pretty soon, he decides that he's going to abandon his life in the city and just live with the hair in the wilderness. And they go on escapades, and it is great. So I'm hoping that this will be a really sweet and really great romp and I love books set in the wilderness, and I've never read a book where someone is friends with a hare. I've read Watership Down, which is about hares and hares, but never a human and a hare friendship. So I think that it will, oh my gosh, except the Velveteen Rabbit. Oh, but yeah, okay, so I'm hoping that this one will be really sweet and will just kind of give me the relief I need from the more uh, dark books. So if you've read any of these, please let me know. Also, if you would like to buddy read any of them, also, please let me know, um, and I would love to. Today, I'm gonna try and go to immigration again, because the other day they rejected some of my paperwork because they were copies, not the originals. <sighs> Anyone who has lived overseas knows the struggle of immigration. If you guys like this video, then please give me a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button, it would really mean a lot. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will chat to you later. Toodles, bye.